conversations. I like to look at the birds, not like some bird watcher with a faint whip of voyeurism up his nostrils. I like to look at the birds, not like some bird watcher with a faint whiff of voyeurism up his nostrils. Just from my window sometimes. But if I'm walking down the street, I could stop and look for a couple of minutes, no problem. I like it when they're in a tree singing, or feeding their young, or fighting. They do that a lot. Follow each other from tree to tree sometimes, fluttering and squawking at each other. Or when they all take off together in a group of hundreds and change direction all in unison. It gives me a real sense of peace, their motion. It fascinates me. I look at the moon, and the moon looks back at me. Where do you stand in this, my dark and urban sparrow? Who do I turn to when the stars blot to dry my throat? Where will you be? On whose imaginary steeple? Whose psyche will you feed? Who, who will hold the wings of your imagination? I stroll through Brick Lane on a Friday night from a darksome laneway with Victorian street lamps gone out, dull streets lit up with neon lights, shop shutters graffiti with Banksy art blinking. Go on for it, Sipsy boy! <laughs> Women with bad teeth laughing, men with bad minds thinking, men in restaurants waving their arms as they proclaim something hilarious to a table of friends. I got my 50s suit jacket on, held in clothes with one hand, my shirt, three buttons open, chain showing, hip flask half gone, the cold light wind breathing at my collar, the East Indians lined up trying to get me to eat at their curry houses one after another, <laughs> three transvestites laughing, one lighting a cigarette, groups of youths like hyenas in packs. Oh Sparrow. The grass is still like a frozen ocean. There are mirrors everywhere, everywhere, everywhere in London there are mirrors and I'm terrified of the million eyes of the moon. Whose tail shall I follow? What tree can bear the weight of our dreams? I look at the moon and the moon looks back at me. I am with you, my dark and lonely sparrow in the avenues of this city holds and spreads and burdens me like a cross full of thorns and air and dust and blood and dirt and sperm. And down the ball alley we smoked some hash and we were free as the crows that soared the skies, us council kids and corner boys, the open air, her yellow hair, cascading down her freckled cheek, our wetted lips, our fingertips. Skin trembles slowly and we don't speak. The rain drips down on grizzly skins. As one gets quenched, one more begins. In the summers we went swimming, and we went smoking and went drinking. And we laughed as we lay on the grass, and we didn't give a fuck because we were young and alive. Mm. No time for the moon, you said. No time for books, for mirrors, or for dreams. Hold my hand like you mean it. Write, live, fuck like you mean it. Open my guts like you mean it. Part my lips like you mean it. Hurt me like you mean it. The night was propitious. All the bars in London were aligned. There were more words in your flesh than in all the scrolls of the Red Sea. I am beneath the skin, you said. Touch me like you touch water. Turn me over with religious zeal. Tamper with my mood cycles. Unwind me with your fingers. Submerge my eyes into my eyes. <clears throat> the matrimony of starlight with the dullness of darkness is the stillness of motion as a matter of fact. But facts have no matter. Fiction is also, temptation is subject to our blameless will. As the world choppily changes from one extremist to the other, 
a people with bare faces placed a sincerity palm upon their chest. I would never do anything like that. Mm. Yeah, well, I'm saying it. Fuck the tongue that never trips and fuck the tongue that never tells. And you can fuck freedom of speech and all if you use it like a stick just to poke people with. Mm. Freedom is a basic human right. But if you abuse that freedom to make a mockery out of other people's misfortune, it's a basic human wrong. Wow. All you have to do is catch a flame when it's not supposed to burn, and then waste more time, and then stare at the ceilings, and then drink more nightcaps, and then watch the weather change, and give ear to the wind, and then ride on trains, and then buy daffodils for strangers, and then make fewer plans for the fucking week. Tear your dress coats, sabotage your masks, love randomness, love randomness as much as you love control, dance, in an empty field, dance in an empty field and expect nothing but wind. Chase impossible horizons, fall in love with every hour, and then, and then howl, howl, howl at the glass towers of Italy, howl at the conference centers, howl at the government buildings, howl, howl at Boris Johnson, howl at his face, howl, howl, spit if you can. You have enough saliva to drown this man. <laughs> How? Victory marches. How? How? And please never read what's in the book because it's not in the book. <laughs> Dampened daylight passing lowly through the birch's boughs, the fogs fawning on the awakening morning. With moisture on my cheek and trousers tucked to welly, my father cotton timber and myself collecting conkers for to bring to school. Their green fleshy shells picked up and squeezed, and this is a good one, Dad. Then locked carefully into the Dunstores bag with the others. 1989, I wasn't much used for working, just idling and yakking. He was cut from coarse or cloth, working like the devil, banya in a bog hole. Had no time to talk, just wiped the dripping sweat without a second's thought. Brown work boots, dirty slacks, grey stone gansey, turning turf or stacking or bagging. And the smell and the sound of that handsaw going through the moss on the back of the birch. And then, and then, just before the bird had fallen beside your toes, and then the word that came and joined you with your brother, is that enough to keep? A poem alive. Two boys on a stage holding the tension of the next verse. <laughs> the way it ends the way it had to end, I wonder. Don't you find it peculiar we're all tapped into the same radio frequency of language and communication? Eye contact, verbal and non-verbal, and anybody who loses signal we put them in the madhouses, all the while shoving or being shoved between the sexual and the territorial, and the innate traits and instincts that we've inherited, gaze detection, reciprocal altruism, totem and taboo, actions and reactions. We're all wired into the same show. One more rejection. <laughs> and I will grow seaweed to cover my mouth. One more rejection. And may my voice be my witness. I will drown my heart in the taverns of Naples. One more rejection. And I, Peter Doolan. I, Gabriel fucking Moreno, <laughs> will abandon my name.